Dana Suskind, I'm professor of surgery at the University of Chicago, and I am the director of both the Pediatric Cochlear Implant Program and the translational research program called the 30 Million Words Initiative. You may ask, why, why exactly is a cochlear implant surgeon running a program called 30 Million Words? So probably about 10 years ago, I started uh, the cochlear implant program at the University of Chicago. And I started implanting wonderful little kids who all looked like they had the same potentials for learning how to talk and learning how to learn. Um, but I soon noticed an unsettling difference among them after implantation. So some of them would be talking and learning on par with their hearing peers, and others, same time out, were having much more difficulty in communicating. And it was a really difficult thing to see. And it was what really sort of pushed me out of the operating room to try to figure out why this was and what I could do about it, most importantly for my, my patients. And it was in this sort of exploration that I came about this very famous study by researchers Betty Hart and Todd Risley. And what they found was that those children who didn't do as well academically will have heard 30 million fewer words than their than, than other children. And just this difference in how much children were hearing in the early years predicted not only the children's vocabulary development, but importantly their test scores uh, in the third grade. And the reason this study was so important is that it gave me insight as to why some of my patients didn't do as well. Access to sound through cochlear implantation or hearing aids is so critically important. But of course, that's not, that in itself is not enough. Right? We need, once a child has access to sound, to have something to listen to. And that is why parents and caregivers are the most powerful individuals, the most powerful forces in a child's life. I always say parents and caregivers are the key architects of their children's brain development and the key architects through their language and interaction for building their brains. There's a saying, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Because of the hearing tracker with the Nucleus 7, parents are gonna have the power within, in their own hands to see the language environment their children are going to be exposed to, and then impact it. At the end of the day, the cochlear implant is the first step, the first step to being able to hear but it's the rich language environment that a parent and caregiver provides a child, which will really allow the child to reach his or her potential.